Dave, I started this year thinking that the stock market is overvalued, oh. so I'm going to sell. So all year I've been lightening up. Oh no. I was wrong. I was you wrong. Were, it's up 18%. Wrong. You but you know wrong. what? I still think it was overvalued then. I think it's even more overvalued now. So you could tell me, am I an idiot? Yeah, you're an, you're an idiot, Jim. I think we can we can say that with 2020 hindsight, you are you are an idiot. You you okay. sold into a you know into, yeah. into a very strong bull market. We should look though at why, you know, kind of why it's why it's going up and what's uh, what's keeping it. I mean, earnings are pretty good. Um, they've kind of rebounded from the the scare we had in 2015, early 2016, with low oil prices and a lot of the industrial sector was punished. Um, the economy is okay here, and it's improving in in Europe and much of the much of the rest of the world. That's, I think, that's uh, responsible for some of the gains. The other factor, of course, is what's going on in Washington. The market's very optimistic about the pro prospects for a corporate tax cut. That's right. That's right. That said. It's still selling at 25 yeah. times trailing yeah. earnings. 25 times. The average PE, the long-term uh, average, is 15. These now you can might try to justify that by lower interest yeah, rates, yeah. but then again, interest exactly. rates are creeping up. Ah, it it. I still think it's overpriced. Maybe well, I'll be wrong again. Interest rates aren't yeah. aren't creeping up very fast. Yeah. Um, yeah. You're still talking about two point something percent on the. 10-year treasury, so what are the, you know, what are, where are you going to put your money if you, if you do that's so? That's exactly it. Um, that's, that's what I hear when I talk to other investors. Yeah. Where else am I going to put my yeah. money? Still, I think we're getting bubblicious here. We're, we're getting, uh, you know, not, not a frenzy, but, but, but people are losing the relationship between the intrinsic value of these companies and what they're selling for. Well, I think you could you, you could be concerned that you know a lot of the gains in those those indexes are coming from just a just a few names, yes. sort of Facebook, Alphabet, right. um, Amazon. You know, a, you know, a handful of handful of big big name tech companies are really really driving it. But uh, the, uh, you know, the 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 broad economy is doing pretty well, and people think it can can, can go on for a while. Well, I was so, reading you know. I, was, I was reading an estimate just before we came here of 15% profit growth yeah, uh, in, which, in the next year. Now those estimates are usually optimistic and the analysts pull them back as yeah. the year goes on, but still if it's anything like that, uh, you might see some justification for these prices. Well, and the, the, the tax cut bill um, you know, that's going through Congress would, uh, you know, would Free up a lot of money, cash that companies have overseas. Um, the Republicans are telling us they're going to use that money to hire workers and expand their plans. But in reality, what the CEOs are, are telling investors is, we're going to use that to buy back shares. Buy back shares, so, increase you, dividends. You know, in, well, maybe increase dividends. Yes, yeah, certainly give it back to the shareholders. Every you know, every dollar uh, you know, you know, you, you're going to earn, own a bigger. Port, portion of our earnings pot because we're going to buy back some of the shares that are out there. Still, I, I am nervous. I am as nervous, more nervous now than I was at the beginning of the year. And I still think I'm going to lighten up a little bit as we go on. So we'll, we'll meet next year and you'll tell me if I'm still an idiot or not. Well, yeah, we will. But <laughs> you know, I, I, I just think uh, having a, you know, having a long-term strategy, a long-term as asset allocation is the only way to go. I would I would strongly advise anyone to, you know, not try to make market timing decisions of the, uh, you know, the sort we're talking about here. You can, you can be nervous, um, just you know, to ha buy yourself a beer to, to help calm your nerves, and uh, you know, and and just just uh, don't don't try to don't try to make any rash. Decisions. I think I need both a shot and a beer <laughs> okay, for this. Okay, okay, you can have it. <laughs>